Shalom, everyone. Um, today, I just wanted to... Let me turn this down a little. Yes, I wanted to talk about... Um, what color was Abraham? This is going to be brief. And I think I'm going to turn it down some more. Okay. So, um, so the title today is What Color Was e- um, Abraham? And also, it's going to tell you what color was um, Esau as well, because we know Esau came from Abraham. Abraham had Isaac, Isaac had Jacob, and Esau, right? So if we're saying that, e- that Jacob is a man of color, Esau had to be also the same melanated skin color, maybe a little lighter, but they were still melanated people from a Negro man from Africa, <laughs> which is Abraham. Now, this also says that Abraham family initi- um, originated in, K- in Cush, Cushite, and he migrated up to Mesopotamia. But that's not what the uh, discussion is today. I just wanted to show an article from Alice C. Lindsay that describes the color of Esau and also his relationship to the African tribe in Nigeria called Edo. So it says, um, I want to read that. I go here. I don't know about what she was saying here. So it says, Abraham was a descendant of Adam, whose skin was reddish. Abraham also belonged to the royal priesthood caste of Horites, among whom there were red, black, and olive complexions. Abraham ruled in ancient Edom, which the Greek called Idumeum, meaning land of red people. Abraham's territory was entirely in the region of Edom. It extended between Hebron in the north to Bathsheba in the south, and it shows here. Bathsheba here, Hebron up here, the south, and here, Idumeum. It says that was Abraham territory friend entirely in the region of Edom. Okay. Um, then it goes on to say Edo, Edomites, Idoma, Idumium, Idumia, or related words. A variance of Edo is I do, I I do was the progenitor of the Edo or Idomoa of Benin. The ruler of Edo is called Oba. And the first ruler of Petra in Edom was Abodas, among the Anu of Hokado. Uh, Hokkaido. The original, the regional ruler is called Obito and original name of Tokyo was Edo. So these are the people that were the Edomites. Red skin because they came from Idumean, as well as Abraham did too. Abraham was from was a what they call a analytic Saharan people. You know, they have red skin, especially the, it's the Dika people of one of the tribes. But I want to show you a tribe, the same tribe of these people here in Nigeria here it says the Edo people sometimes referred to as the Bendel people or Edo speaking ethnic group Um, the Orido who predominantly reside in seven southern local governments areas of the state of Edo Nigeria are known as Benin they are speakers of the Edo language and are the descendants of the founder of the Benin Kingdom. The same kingdom here. 
same people, not same people. Now they are is they are Hebrews, but they're not Israelite because Abraham, to be told, and it's and from my research lately, and I didn't know this, Abraham was the descendant of Shem and Ham. Abraham, get it? So let's go back to the um, Wikipedia. It goes on to say that um, uh, they are the speakers of the Indo language and are descendants of the founders of the Benin kingdom of Giso Agoda. I see Igodo. They are closely related to another southern Nigerian tribe such as the Isain, the Isiko, and the Isoko, and the Arhobo. So these are the same people. These are Edomites. Their ancestor is from is Esau. This is what this is what the Bible says, and also this was her foundings as far as her her um uh, her works. Now she the uh, meaning um this lady here, which wrote this this article, Lindsay, Alice Lindsay, was saying also that you know all her studies and her research is from material she used is archaeology, um, her I think it was linguistic migration studies, climate studies, and DNA or molecular study or genetics. So she did, she, all of her work are based on all of her work and her findings and her research is based on that material that I just named out. So um, then it goes on to say here that, it says, one of Abraham's descendants was Edom. Right, because Abraham was the grandfather of Edom. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac had Esau and Jacob. So he's the grandfather of Esau because he was red. That makes sense. So if Esau was red, obvious, but Isaac and Abraham was also the same color or maybe a little, a little darker. This is a clan, the clan of Seir, the Horite, Genesis 36, were Edomites. And as with all the Horites, had common physical features because they practiced endogamy, meaning they married among the tribes. They were saying the Horites were priest people, a priestly uh, caste, they called them, and goes all the way back to the Cushites. You know, the Cushites was also red people. They came from, they came to color red, dark black, and and, and uh, like maybe brown-skinned and light-skinned. It says Abraham's grandson, Esau, inherited his grandfather's red skin, meaning Abraham. Because it says that Abraham was from a tribe called the Nilotic people from Sudan, uh, Sub-Saharan. Um, it says Abraham's grandson Esau inherited his grandson red skin tone. We do not know Jacob's coloring, but he may have been darker skin than Esau. King David is described as a ruddy and as a boy probably looked like this. He's saying he probably looked like this. Um, so you know, you know, I I hear a lot of the brothers still out there on the camps and stuff, screaming on the street about Esau the white man, Esau the white man, and I don't see how they can connect that to call the white man Esau when it clearly states and shows that they started doing their research that Esau was red skinned and he came from the Nigeria tribe Benin, from Benin, which is in Nigeria. Now it was saying that also that Abraham was was a um he was a um came from the, the um group of culture known as the Nihilotic, Nihilotic people. So here is an article it says the Dingos are one of the largest ethnic groups living in South Sudan. They are part of a group culture known as the Nihilotic people. And it goes on to say that century to their society are cattle which form the base of livelihood in the economy of the Dinka. Farming and agriculture also played as integral role. Labor has traditionally been distinctly divided among gendered lines, with men traditionally in the um, role of cattle herder and women holding the responsibility for growing crops, cooking, and drawing water. However, in recent years, the division of work has become more shared across the, the family. But anyway, um, I'm just going to show you some of these. Uh, it's not you can't see the color too much, but. He came from this culture. This is what they're saying, that he's from the Nilotic uh, tribe. So let's go back here. Here again, it talks about these people, the Edo people, 
are descendants of Esau. They are people of color. They are not Caucasians. Now, <clears throat> maybe they start changing the color, you know, it mixing migration, you know, a war, uh, uh, even a Bantu extent expansion, I believe. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want to show something else here. Let's see. Let's see, Genesis. Now, I think that's about it. But I just wanted to share that I thought it was interesting. I was just doing a lot of uh, studying lately and researching. And what I'm trying to do too is tie the Bantu expansion going back 2000, 3000 through I think the 500 BC. But look like also if Abraham family migrated from Cush or through the Mesopotamia, and I was saying, I wonder if that was part of a, the uh, expansion too, because I remember seeing a a um, a date when Abraham migrated or his migrated his family migrated from Cush into Mesopotamia, and it was saying how Abraham didn't initially resided in Mesopotamia, but he migrated from his family because he was a he was um the, what they call the Hamrites or uh, caste people, which were, they were priesthood, and priest, they were priesthood way before God called Abraham, which makes a lot of sense because we have to understand that Abraham had a life before God called him, and it said that he was part of the what they call the Cushite caste or priesthood, and it goes way back before um, he was called by the Most High. But anyway, I just thought I would share that because I thought it was interesting, and again, I'm trying to um, see if I can um, um, connect that together because look, there may be a connection. But anyway, I just want to show that and share with the family. I say shalom and have a blessed evening.